the IFSA was created because there was a need to promote the uh, flight safety spirit throughout the whole community of uh, air crews and managers in, in companies. In fact, in this, in, back in the uh, 1970s, there was a lot of accidents and the human and financial cost was so extreme that it was necessary to do something. We can solve this issue by working on three different aspects. The first one is the technical aspect, the second one is the procedural aspect, and the third one is the human aspect. And the, uh, the institute, the, the, uh, the, the French uh, institute was created to uh, contribute in a, in a way to this uh, dissemination of the uh, 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 flight uh, safety uh, spirit. Uh, IFSA is providing courses in the prevention and also in investigation because both are linked, to, uh, are intertwined, I would, I would even say. And, and the course is, the, the main idea is uh, to provide to both the uh, managers how to better integrate uh, the uh, flight safety in their considerations and also to train all the technical personnel uh, air crews, uh, all the people who just are related or working in the aeronautics field just to make sure that everything what they are doing it be done in a way that it would it would avoid uh, air accidents or incidents. So basically now the IFSA is providing courses to more than 100 countries. And in the beginning the audience was more military than civilian. 80% military, 20% civilian. But now we see the opposite because the uh, armed forces, the air forces, have been slightly decreasing, and the the, uh, the uh, airline communities is, is just been increasing. So now we, we train mainly 80% civilian air crews and, and and managers, and compared to the 20, only 20% in the military. When you're speaking about prevention, uh, I, I told you there are three different aspects. The first one is technical, procedural, and, and human. And each time you speak about an, uh, a, an issue, it has to be dealt this way. The first, the first in, in increase in, in, in prevention was by improving the aircraft. And the second was to implement procedures just to make sure that people don't make mistakes. But there is the small, the small one, which is the human factor. And this human factor, in the beginning, was like the lowest part of the accidents, but now it's, it's just become the, the most important part. So that's where it comes into effect the CRM, the crew resource management, just to make sure that the human aspect is taken into consideration in the, uh, in, in the flight safety. When I speak about this, in fact, you, you speak about the, the system. How, how You can speak about the man first. Man is good, but then when you have two people, Okay, you have to, how do they interact as a team? And then when you take this team as a combat team, how does that integrate into something which is larger with a system? So when you speak about CRM, you can speak about CRM for systems, organizations, about team management and individual, how, do, how people do react when they are confronted to some, how do you train them to make sure that they recognize their weaknesses and how, do you, how they can overwhelm the, their weaknesses. My name is Jean-Pierre Henry and I'm a weapon system officer flying the Mirage 2000D in the French Air Force. I still fly in the reserve officer and now I have two uh, different lives. One life is with my company called Stan Institute where I develop medical crew resource management and the other life is in the, in the aviation field here at the IFSA, the French Institute for Aviation Safety. The IFSA is uh, tiny, two or three people, but huge because two or three people knowing an, in the middle of a huge network of experts and consultants. So these people, when they have a demand for flight safety, they ask for any of the, well, something like 40 to 50 experts and consultants in French, both French, English, and of three. French, English, and Spanish uh, speaking. And uh, IFSA provides courses for to, to, to upgrade safety and 
performance inside uh, aviation company main, but uh, as well for Air Forces or for any other company. We now work with submarines, we work with railway, we work with um, power plants, we work with a lot of companies. First, my experience was grew up in the French Air Force, uh, expert in CRM and human factors. And when I was there, I discovered that uh, there is no differences in between human factors with a team of a Mirage 2000 uh, jet and team of in a surgery room. Uh, same thing, people working, working together in a high risk environment. So we've developed, I've transferred the knowledge from aviation to the surgery and now we work with surgery, surgeons teams. And both this knowledge of aviation and surgery, I now bring them back to the IFSA and knowing all these different words, I can grow, grow um, and build CRM courses inside the IFSA to provide to all the clients of the IFSA. The French touch in CRM, uh, I would say that we we, we try a lot of things and the research, research is uh, really wide open to any field of investigations. Uh, just to tell you, we are now working on trying to understand why fighter pilots do eject at the last seconds from the aircraft. In the fields of research that we have, we are thinking of ways which might sound strange like um, mindfulness meditation wow it's things that comes from centuries from from uh, build, 2000 years ago was developed and now we transfer it to modern aircraft and to see how if we help pilots and crews to open their minds to fields what they could do. That's one of the research themes that's live, hot uh, right now. And French, French, the French touch was as well uh, when we developed what we call the mission-oriented simulation training. It's putting some cameras inside the simulator of the jets of the Rafale of Mirage 2000 and we have the crew performing a mission and then we debrief all the human factors uh, aspects from the, um, from the flight. It was already existing in, for commercial aviation, but we were in front of the first one to do it for jet crews, jet pilots. And the success is huge. Each week in the squadron, we have a tra special training session and crews are demanding to have more of these sessions. So this is part of the French touch. ZIFSA, where we come from, um, we had developed in the armed forces and especially in the air force some specific training tools to have the best performance plus safety uh, results at the same time, having both of them at the same time. And they were just staying, staying inside the French Air Force. And we had some demands coming from the outside, from other Air Forces, hey, the French, what do you do? How can we train? It's not the job of the Air Force to train other people. So at DCI, DCI decided to create a special unit called the IFSA Institute, uh, Aviation Safety um, Institute, French Aviation Safety Institute um, just to perform courses. Those courses developed in the armed forces, hey guys, you can have them and just come on, come and see how we train in the French Air Force. That's the reason why IFSA was created.